Hey Kyle, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com. Happy holidays. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to take a look at the three tickers that you sent me, starting with BDI, uh, which is the Baltic Dry Index. This is a chart of the BDI. It may not look like it, and the reason why is because I changed the scale. Normally, you look at things in a log scale where every box is the same percentage move, but I changed this to a linear scale where everything is a 500-point move just to make a point, just to see how devastating that decline in 2008 was for this index and how relatively flat things have been over the past seven years or so. Of course, it doesn't feel flat if you had bought it at the low in 2016 and watched your mon money almost triple, but this puts an interesting perspective on things and kind of gives us a little bit of guidance as we try to determine where this is heading overall. So from a long-term time frame, uh, the way I see it, there's two different ways to label it, and we'll go back to a log scale to look at that. Uh, one way is that this was one big counter trend decline um, that completed at the 2016 low and is going to give way to the uh, a new uptrend, basically. Um, last time they had an uptrend on this guy was back in 2007. It was incepted in 2003. That was a nice uptrend. It's been down since then. Maybe this is an opportunity for BDI to resume its uptrend. That's one possibility. The other possibility is that this is just one big counter trend recovery off the 2008 low and that the overall trend is down. So it's impossible to say which is the case just by the nature of the way this move played out, which is unfortunate. Obviously, this move has been really strong in 2016, which is a ton of potential. So here's what we can take away. Uh, even under this more bearish scenario where the entire recovery off the 2008 low into current times is a counter trend move, it would still point higher. And if this is actually a more important low, obviously that would point higher as well. So I think you can be bullish here. It's hard to get a really good grip on the long term uh, labeling, Elliott Wave labeling of things. But hey, it looks bullish uh, one way or the other. And uh, that's what we can take away. So let's zoom in on this 2016 move here. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any intraday data, so all I can use is a line chart to take a look at this. It makes it a little bit more difficult to do anything in, in any great detail. Um, but what we can see is that it's a really strong move. It looks trendy internally. The whole move is not a trendy move yet, um, but it sure looks like it's heading in that direction. So to me, this, this guy really looks like it's going to continue higher, uh, plain and simple. Uh, unfortunately, we can't find a really good close stop that's meaningful. Um, this entire advance can be expected to continue as long as the BDI is trading above 850. A move below 975 at any point would say a near-term high is in at the, at the least, um, but overall the levels aren't super close that we can use. Um, most importantly though, it looks like this guy is going to continue higher, uh, plain and simple. It looks like a trendy move that hasn't completed yet. I'm expecting it to go higher. Expect it to go directly higher from here as long as it's trading above 975. Um, but overall, it needs to stay above 850 to keep this as a trendy move and to keep things pointing uh, higher from there. So overall, I do think this thing is going to continue higher uh, regardless whether this is the start of a new uptrend or just part of a, a really large counter trend recovery. So I hope that's helpful, Kyle. Thanks. We'll get back to you again soon.